You are tuned to Utah Public Radio. I'm Shalane Smith Needham. It's time again for our weekly movie review. As always, we have Casey T. Allen in studio. Hi, Casey. Hello, Shalane. Good to have you here. And this week, you saw the historical drama The Current War. Give us a brief rundown of the film and your review. Although this film was first screened in 2017, it has been refined and re-edited since then by its director to create this new director's cut. And it has finally gained a wider distribution to now be shown throughout Utah. And in this case, good things come to those who wait. Historical dramas like The Current War are often revered because they offer immersive portraits of history. And The Current War does that wonderfully but it also gives viewers a glimpse into the minds of some amazing people who helped create the foundations of modern life. Directed by Alfonso Gomez Reon, this story of American ambition follows Thomas Edison and George Westinghouse competing against each other to build a network of urban electrical grids across the United States, starting in the 1880s. Using the very American tools of publicity, fame, and ego, one great inventor works to discredit the innovations of the other. Being set in a time period over a century ago, the dynamic musical score and brisk editing style make this film feel surprisingly contemporary, and the psychologically tense mood is sustained throughout, keeping the story rushing forward like an impatient, angry train. Yes, the current war is set in the past, but it's almost entirely about the future. All right, this is one you definitely recommend. Absolutely. I hear Oscar everywhere about this movie. Okay, thanks for being here, Casey. Thank you.